Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the uh, card play keeps disconnecting after iOS 17 and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to try with a restart on your iPhone. To do a restart on your iPhone, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the settings. Now from here go back, I'll be showing you once again, tap on the settings. Now from here go to the general. From here, go down and navigate to shutdown option. Just slide this to power off. You can do this up like this. Once afterwards, just wait for hardly, I have to say, one to two minutes. Once it is done with this, you have to press the power button over here. We are having the power button. Just press the power button over here. And once afterwards, you can try continuing. So once after the power button is turned on, as you can see, it is getting restarted once again. So afterwards, once the phone is completely turned on, we have to try with this one. Just go over here. What we need to do is we just need to go over here, go give the respective passcode and you can try and see whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the issue, we can try with the next one. That is all about we, we should be having an internet connection. So right now this is connected with the Wi-Fi. So I have to cross check the Wi-Fi is working fine. If I have connected to the cellular data, I have to make sure the data is also working fine. So this is very important that both the data and the Wi-Fi should be working fine and the internet connection should be there. Even if the Wi-Fi is connected but internet connection is not there, it is not going to work. So we have to make sure both the data and internet connection should be there. Once if it is there, we can try moving to the next step. Once you cross check this, even if this issue is still there, we can try with the next one that is all about we have to enable the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. For this, we just need to go over here. We can see both the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is enabled. Also, you can cross check going through the settings. Go to the Wi-Fi, it is connected to the Wi-Fi. And the same way, if you go to the Bluetooth, it is also connected to the Bluetooth as well. So this is very important that it should be, both the things should be completely connected. I mean, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth should be enabled. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to turn on the CarPlay toggle. So you have to cross check whether you turn on the CarPlay toggle or not. For this, we just need to go over here in the settings. Now from here, we have to scroll down and navigate to general, tap on this one. Keep scrolling down and you will be able to find, so sorry, it is at the top, just tap on the CarPlay. Right now, I'm not able to connect to the available cars is not here because I'm demonstrating to you guys. So you'll be getting the uh, cars available over there. Afterwards, try connecting. And also afterwards, see whether the issue is solved. Or if it's already connected, you can turn off the CarPlay and turn it on once again. That is also working for many users as well. So you can try this out as well. Next one is all about instead of connecting, try connecting with a cable with on the car. You can also try connecting your iPhone to the CarPlay with using a cable that also worked for many users. Last and the least one is all about, I don't know how, but for many of the users, when they updated the OS to the latest version, it worked for them. So just tap over here in the settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate. And now from here, go to software update. Make sure the up, uh, what you need to do is make sure that if you are getting any update like 16.6.1, you can just update your software to the latest version. So right now, this has been happening in the 17. So you can try updating the latest version 17 and most probably the issue will be completely fixed. And these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having an issue with iPhone is CarPlay is not working or it is not showing after iOS 17 update and how you can fix this up. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.